it's happening outside. You know, Stivers Ford Lincoln, downright proud to salute great organizations in town. And there's an organization that has been in town, Jackie, for more than a century. Uh, unbelievable. Des Moines Women's Club. Uh, we're going to learn a little bit more, remind you, I should say, of the history, because we've talked about this before. Uh, two incredible ladies, as you mentioned, Lou, downright proud along Stivers Ford Lincoln to talk about wonderful things happening in central Iowa. And Des Moines Women's Club, definitely one of those, but also an art exhibition that's going on here very soon. We're going to give you all the details, but so excited to have Rosemary Ron here joining us this morning and also Stephanie Askoff. Thank you so much for being here. But let's start with you, Rosemary. Let's remind everyone the immense history that goes along with the Des Moines Women's Club. Yes, well, the club started in 1885. Oh my goodness. And uh, for those first about 20 years, they were meeting different places in town, either the library, the Y, at churches and uh, looking for a place to have a home. Now, what was the primary purpose of the, of the uh, club organizing in the first place? Uh, one of the primary purposes was to promote art, and early on it was to try to establish an art gallery. And with Hoyt Sherman Place, that became their home. Um, after Mr. Sherman had died, the City Parks and Rec Department offered the home for the initially a 47-year lease for a dollar a year if they would maintain the building and add an art gallery. So that all meshed with what their goal was too. So even from the very beginning, it was about this art, was from art. The very first lecture that was ever given was about art. And they had already been purchasing art so that when the gallery was finished, um, they had uh, art to go on those walls from the beginning. And there are still 12 of those original art pieces are that they, they really? had purchased. And over the years, they continued to purchase art too. So um, when we're here today to talk about the 110th art exhibition, but it's kind of, if you come to that event, you see two art shows. You see both the art show of local artists and you see that art on the walls that goes back to the beginning of the Des Moines Women's Club. As I say, unbelievable. It, anytime you go to an amazing event at the Hoyt Sherman, uh, you are blessed by walking around mm -hmm. and seeing some incredible art all yeah. around you. Mm -hmm. uh, but I didn't realize 12 of those pieces were like go back to the original. Go the original back to the original. Mm -hmm. yeah. Unbelievable. And about a year ago, we now have museum quality <coughs> signage that was uh, done by Dr. Leah Rasson DeLong, mm -hmm. who researched the collection and then made uh, wonderful signage. So you can read the history of right. each piece as far as she was able to find that. A lot of people didn't know that history. Yeah. It, it goes that far back. It goes that far back. Unbelievable. Unreal. Well, let's talk about the history of the exhibition that's coming up uh, here in just a, a week or so. Uh, why is it so important to have this artist uh, reception? Well, because they wanted to support not only well-known international artists, but also support artists in Iowa. Mm -hmm. So uh, first they got possession of the home in 1907 and added the art gallery. And then in 1909, they started with the first art exhibition to feature the work of central Iowa artists. Unbelievable. So they've been thinking local all, all these years at the same time. Right. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. All right, so Stephanie, uh, tell us a little bit more about this incredible event and how we can get involved coming up in February. Okay. The uh, exhibition begins on February 18th. That's a Sunday uh, from 1 to 4. That's our opening day tea, opening reception. Um, the uh, exhibition is open then during the week from the 19th through the 25th between 10 and 4. Um, a really fun event is February 23rd, that's gallery night. Um, we have recep uh, refreshments and um, the artists are, are there. Um, this uh, exhibition is judged by local artist uh, James Engler. And so um, the two divisions of art, professional and non-professional, are judged by Mr. Engler. There are first, second, third prizes in each division. Uh, first prize is $150, second is $125, and third is $100. Another thing that um, the artists really appreciate and enjoy, I think, is that as guests come through and view the, the artwork, they're asked to um, pick their favorite. And so artists also get a People's Choice Award. There you go. So that's fun. That really involves the community. Um, 
him. So, um, <laughs> like it's, it's great. There, um, you go. Um, there you go. Um, yeah, what, what time is this going to happen then? Because uh, there's various events. Various, uh, various events, yes. Yeah. The first yes. one where the public are invited mm -hmm. to come on in, uh, uh, when do things kick off? Very first thing is uh, February 18th from 1 to 4. That's the opening okay. day tea. So it's a week from this Sunday, a week from yep. this Sunday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And it goes all the way through the week then. Um, gallery night is the 23rd. Um, and you typically open around 10 a.m. If, if people want to yes. stop in and see mm -hmm. the beautiful art. Mm -hmm. Now, has everything been submitted? Like, the cutoff has been done of uh, collecting all the local art, correct? No, it's not. Oh, like it's, it's not. not. No. It's all right, not, Jackie, no. get your paintbrushes on. Well, okay. okay, so explain no, this. There's no, there's no place that you could have people bringing in work ahead of time. So on the 15th, um, which is a Thursday, is when we ask the artist to bring the work in. Okay. And if it if it meets the requirements, because people need, artists need to go online and see what those requirements are, but it will be entered. So it's not a juried show, it's a judged show. Judged show. And so people... they bring them on the 15th, and um, up until Monday next week, they can fill out their paperwork online. And where okay. do they go online to see all this? DesMoinesWomensClub.com slash art exhibition. Right. After that, they'll need to handwrite three of the entry forms and bring those along. So. Uh, yeah, we're, we're accepting work a week from this Thursday, all, all right, day so it's long. still not too late. Uh, not too late. I'm not sure this is going to qualify, but uh, I just whipped this up here. I'm going to submit Well, you got to go here. online okay. and see what I'll, the I'll rules are. There. And uh, Stephanie, if people want to learn how to still become part of the Des Moines Women's Club, yes. uh, there's still an opportunity for that as well. Absolutely. You okay. can become a, a <laughs> member of the Des Moines Women's Club. Um, when you come to visit the art exhibition, pick up a brochure. Uh, this membership is open to men too. Okay. So there, I'm when you have this, this okay. reach of history, you know yeah. it's an amazing thing, and we need to continue to support it in our community. Ladies, thank you so thank much you for, for being, being here, thank and you for uh, we you. wish you thank well. You. And thank artists you. out there, realize you still have an opportunity to be a part of something that's 110 years going strong. Uh, be a part of the Dwayne Women's Club Annual Art Exhibition. More details can be found at that website, also at weareiowa.com. We'll be right back. You're watching CWI. We're live.